Hello cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon below me and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. Well, guys, appearances can be deceptive. Look, I'm accused on a reasonably regular basis of either being stingy to the point of starving my family or lying about how much I spend on food. And frankly, I am fed up. I don't do either and I'm going to tell you how I can feed my family plenty of meat and prove that I'm not lying. Appearances are deceptive. A few years ago we were at a dinner with friends. We were able to choose what we'd like from the suggestions and I chose the mushroom risotto. Another friend did too. Everyone else on our table chose the chicken or the beef, the old, you know, chicken or beef thing. Anyway, when the meals were served, all eyes, including mine, almost popped out of everyone's heads. The two plates of risotto were huge. I mean huge. The plates with the chicken and beef were huge, but the food, well, the food was barely visible. The meat portion was tiny. The veggies on each plate were half a small potato, three chunks of carrot and three green beans. Now, one of the men wanted to swap with me simply because he thought my meal was better than his. I have to say it was absolutely delicious and I've copied the recipe a few times over the years. But my point is he compared plates his with one chunk of meat and, you know, seven veggies piled in the middle, and mine with a pile of rice and mushrooms stacked up so that it looked like it absolutely filled the plate, had a mountain of rice in it. Appearances are deceptive. In this case, he thought that my dinner was better than his based on the appearance. There was simply more on my plate than on his, so I had the better meal. So what I'm going to suggest you do is use that deception to stretch your meat budget. Now, I use two normal-sized chicken fillets for six serves if it's a chicken-based meal that I'm preparing. I think along the lines of apricot chicken or palmas. So how do I do that? Well, for palmers, each chicken fillet is sliced into three pieces and voila, six chicken schnitzels. Now, it's easiest to do this while the chicken's still partly frozen. It just slices so much more nicely. Now, for apricot chicken, each fillet is sliced into six slices and then each slice is diced into six chunks. So each serve gets 12 chunks of chicken. That is more than enough to keep everyone satisfied. Visually, the plate looks full and so no one feels deprived. Appearances are deceptive. When I make meatballs, I make them smaller. I use a teaspoon of mixture per meatball. And yes, I actually use a teaspoon to scoop that meat out of the bowl before I roll it. Now, for Mexican meatballs or spaghetti and meatballs, everyone gets seven meatballs on their plate. And again, no one goes hungry. Everyone is satisfied and visually the plate looks full. No one feels deprived. Appearances can be deceptive. For instance, take a bowl of my chicken soup. It looks so thick and full of chicken. And yet I make a six litre pressure cooker full of chicken soup with one small chicken fillet. The secret, I shred the chicken. It gets cooked in the pot with the, the carrots and the onions and the celery and the stock. 
But before serving, I take the chicken fillet out and I just put it in a bowl and then use my hand beater to shred it. Put the shredded chicken back into the pot to warm through. And that six litres of soup makes 16 one and a half cup serves of delicious chicken soup. And everyone thinks they have plenty of chicken. Now take the same amount of chicken, shred it, add it to baked beans or black beans, throw in some rice, a little sautéed capsicum and onion, and it will make 10 burritos. 10. There is plenty of meat in each burrito. They are definitely full to bursting. No one feels deprived. Before you start cooking your next meal, look at what it is. Note how much meat or chicken the, or fish the recipe states. Then think about how it's presented. Now, if it's diced, cut it into smaller dice and reduce the overall amount. If it's shredded, use a hand beater to shred it into nice fine shreds. They'll bulk up and look a lot more. If it's strips, cut each strip thinner. Try to get at least two from one, preferably three if you can, because appearances count and they are deceptive. Think about how it will look on the plate. Now, three big, huge chunks of chicken may weigh the same as nine smaller chunks, but the nine is visually deceiving. To, it tricks the brain into thinking that it is more. So as you plan your meals, plan to be deceiving, at least with the meat. You'll be saving money and there'll be no complaints. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment and if you do, start that comment with appearances. So I know you have watched all the way to the end of the video. I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. In fact, if you have a question, leave it in the comments in capitals so I can see it easily and quickly. If you know someone who might like this video, please click the share button to send them the link. These twinkles, these three simple steps, <laughs> like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and be recognised more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very, very soon.